up in the morning with truth on my mind. Reviewing all the blows, fact checking all the wrong. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Hookah Anonymous, and you are now rocking with Mickey Truth. She live up to her name, not the fame. So make sure y'all subscribe to her channel and stay updated on what's real. Bye. Real deal, bro, demon. Call him a real deal, bro, demon. He gon' eat it like he mean it. Eat it, eat it like he mean it. Slow down, slow down, shorty. You too. RBB jamming. I just got to start off by asking, how did you come up with your name? I got my name when I was like 16 from these dudes on the west side. They called me Barbie B. Jamming because I used to be outside all the time. Like I, I went by Barbie already, but it was just plain. Barbie, Barbie Jamming stuck though. That's how everybody know me. I tried to change my name on social media to something right. different and couldn't nobody find me. So I had to change it back. I'm like, yeah, that's my name. I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, if it works, don't work. Don't it, it worked. It worked. At 16, I was lit then. So what's the point of changing my name? My yeah, you need a unique name for sure. Yeah, thank you. You welcome. Look, we're gonna do because I know you out and about. Now that's why I like. I wanna just say that you handling business and on the field through. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, my daughter, she had a field trip today. I can't miss it. I know that's right. Okay, so we're gonna just do a little quick little icebreaker just so you know. This is our first time talking to each other. Two truths and a lie. Okay. Uh -huh. So you just give me two truths and a lie. I'm gonna figure out if I can figure out which one is the lie. Two truths and a lie. Yeah. And you can go first if you want me to to give you time to think. Okay. Okay, so I graduated high school in 2007. I have a daughter that's a junior in college. And I am a rapper. All right, the lie is the rapper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me see. You was quick with it. Let me see if I can be quick with it. My, my daughter is 15. Damn, I really thought I had one. Okay. It's 15. And it's, it's 2 o'clock, and I don't already spent like $1,500. I got to do one more, huh? Uh-huh, one more. I'm scared of birds. Uh, your daughter not 15. Damn. Yeah, good. it's big. It's big. Oh. I don't know the truth. The, the field trip gave it away. Like, you know what? They feel 10. <laughs> they like it. Really? You don't think yeah. they take them to the zoo? You, people don't go to the zoo at 15? Damn. Nah, they had the same ring and all that. Ah, oh, that was a bad one. I should have did another one then. <laughs> that was a good question. I like that. Yeah. So now that we know kind of like broke the ice, let's get into like. I listen to your music. My favorite one is Rumors. I ain't gonna lie. I've been like, like rumors? Sharing, yeah, I like Rumors. You Thank know, because it give it, it give a little ratchet, but at the same time, you talking your ish on there, and I like that. But before yeah. you got into the music, how was your upbringing? Oh, my upbringing, I had a good childhood. I grew up with my mom and my dad. Well, I grew up with my mom and my stepdaddy in the house. Um, I got whatever I wanted as a kid. I ain't had no bad childhood. I was in the hood still, but I, I didn't go without both of my parents' work. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good starting point. So what? So coming up in a, a good home, you know what I'm saying, but still, you know, I guess in some type of, um, I guess, environment that is considered hood, you know, everywhere is different, but is that why you got into music or was it instilled in you through your family? No. I started rapping two years ago. Like, I'm new to rap. Really? Yeah, I ain't been rapping for a long time. I went to the studio. I just said this on another podcast. I went to the studio um, one time in 2020, like in December, October, I think. Yeah, and I recorded a song. Everybody said it was hard. So in 21, I dropped the song. My mama really was my push. She said she liked it. And I, my mama ain't gonna lie to me. Like, if I suck, she right. would have been like, you suck, try something different. <laughs> I would have left it alone. Like, my dream was never to do that, but I'm good at it. So I, I kept going. 
hey, shot me. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't have thought, especially because I'm gonna be honest. I was watching, um, oh, I think it was called Get Involved. That was my first song. Okay, and I'm like, okay, she sounds like she's a lyricist, but to say two years ago is crazy. Yeah, but I wrote it two years ago, and after that, I think I took like a year off. So, so yeah, now you're in full music mode? Full music mode, all the way. Hey, well, look, I'm glad your mama gave you that feedback and you kept going, because, hey, okay. this is what you're doing two years, I'm pretty sure you're going to definitely be popping soon, like everywhere. If I never would have went to jail, I probably would have did a whole lot better. Like, I probably would have been on already, but time tell all. You know? Let me ask you this. I'm, I'm kind of glad you said that because, like, it, it's like at the times it'd be like a lot of artists find themselves in trouble and may push them back some. But to hear you say, like, even though it happened, it's still going to be my time. How do you bounce back from something like that coming in between you and your music? Um, I took it for what it was because of how the situation was. It wasn't too much I could do. It's like I got to sit in this and just wait until I can, you know, get out of it because I knew I was getting out of it. It just didn't make sense how I even got in it. But it's this way. But um, it happened. I got out of jail. I couldn't drop no music because they was going to use my music in my trial. So I, um, excuse us. So I uh, took a little break off stop rapping and just focused on like content making reels just to keep myself relevant because i ain't want right. to lose like my momentum in no type of way so as far as a voice i kept my voice but i didn't do no music for the whole year of 2021 i think i mean not 2021 i dropped that song get involved in 21 22. i ain't doing no music i just started dropping music like at the end of that year yeah at the end of that year when i found out i wasn't going to trial for real and you know it's crazy because now that you mention like using your music against you, that's a a thing that they do now. They use it music against almost every rapper that's getting in trouble these days. Yeah, but I don't think that's fair because music is a is a form of poetry. Like any form, any any form of literature that you put out, it should never be used against you because that's entertainment. So who's to say if these things are real? Who's hey. to say if these things are fake? You know? Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. So, coming out of your situation, getting back into the music, being that you went through that and your music possibly could have, you know, been held against you, does that hinder you when you're making new music? Um, do it hinder me? Like, what, yeah. do, you, what do you mean by hinder? Like, do I have like, to make make you nervous? Like, like, you may write a bar and then boom, they be like, I Hell no, nah, they might can switch that and mean something else. I'm gonna change it, or do you just flow? No, because I ain't never did nothing wrong. I ain't never did nothing illegal. I ain't no felon or none of that. Like right. I ain't I ain't never went to I ain't you know yeah. my music should never be used against me. Now if they if that occur and it do like I'm gonna fight it, but it gotta make sense. Like when people make these songs and, and these events in the songs is current, they dumbasses. I ain't never been no dummy. <laughs> I ain't never been no dummy. If I'm outside doing some shit I ain't got no business doing, I'm not finna put that in those songs and knowing it's gonna come back on me. Like if I make songs, nine out of ten, these is whatever I'm feeling when I heard a beat, that's what I'm gonna write down. I might mix it with a little truth. Right. I might mix it with a little fiction. It's gonna come out perfect though. Yeah, storytelling. That's Story the art of it. Yeah, that's the art of it. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of people be calling it, what is it called? Cap in your rap. Yeah. <laughs> but these days, that's the safest way to be at this point. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. You put that real shit in there, your ass gonna go to jail. Okay, you they be describing it. I turned yeah. left on Beaumont, and I'm like, right. oh, Lord. And then in that case, you see it on the screen. They got them turning left on the street. Looking crazy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it'd be wild. Okay. Yeah, ain't no way. So now I got the since we got into like music, I think I want to get into some of the the this is that's been happening. I just want you to pick either or, you know what I'm saying? Just for how you feel about music, right? Mm -hmm. Chris Brown or Quavo this. Chris Brown. Drake or Kendrick Lamar this. I ain't listening to neither one. Okay. 
Um, JT or Glorilla this? Glow. Yeah, okay. yeah, glow stump a little pussy. Oh, yeah. 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 I know she really did that to JT, so she, she won that one. Okay. All right. So I see, like, based off just picking Chris Brown and Glow, you like the ones that go in. Like, they go in from, they went in from the gusto with the punchlines, like, off rip. You ain't had to warm up. It was straight into it. Yeah, and it's like they be doing their homework on each other. Like, I ain't, I ain't giving nobody no one up to where they can get online and be like, this one, one, and this <laughs> real business. Like, I can see if they make a rumors. That's cool. That shit will fly. But right. so my real business, damn, you smoke my ass. <laughs> All right, cool. Hold on. All right, so next, I got a question for you. It's called Would You Rather? And just pick either one, either scenario. Would, would you rather a feature from your favorite artist or would you rather um coaching from your favorite artist in the studio? Um I'd rather a feature. I don't need no coaching. Hey. Your coaching will never be beneficial with money. I'm gonna get off getting coached. Ain't getting no money off that. That's true. Nah. Rather the feast and then you coach me later. Tell me what I did wrong. Right. And you know what though? And it's crazy. The reason why I'm coming out of that question because T.I., an up and coming rapper, walked up to him, you know, freestyling. He was like, hey, hey, stop walking up to people doing that. Like, that's not, ain't nobody gonna change your life like that. So it I, made me think, like, you know. I think um, he is right, but it's a certain way you go about telling people that like I wouldn't have told her that per se in her face because you don't want to break nobody's confidence down to the point where you know they kind of like damn he didn't give a fuck about what I was rapping about can I really rap like I ain't in the business of, of crushing dreams and hurting people feeling I probably would have probably would have listened to her got her Instagram actually listened to her music type shit and I would have mentioned it like you know you can't get on by one on but I did check you out and you didn't say stuff publicly, and then with a face like that, it's just certain things you don't say. But she, she, she have walked up on his ass. I wouldn't have walked up on his ass. He right walking up on him. They don't help nobody. Right. That's a one of the lifetime thing. Yeah, especially with him because this he's been known to be kind of <laughs> if you walk up on him, be a little yeah, yeah. mean. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't too friendly, but you never know what happened to a person to make them like that. You know, That's you don't know what happened to him. You know, I, I shared your um real earlier when you was like you want to visit the Carolinas, you were trying to like work. So mm -hmm. is there any artists down here that you know got heard about, whether it's South Carolina or North Carolina, that you would, you know, that you'd be like, we would be cool on the record, or you just like just look and see what's out there in the Carolinas? I did a song with Shay Zarati. I think she's mm -hmm. in North Carolina. I'm not familiar with her, but how was that? Yeah. I did a song with her, it smoked. I'm gonna put it on my um I'm putting it on my EP that's coming out. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. I wanna do another song. Like I'm I'm kinda in my mind, what I'm thinking is like in every state I might just do like free features. You know, oh. just you know yeah. you somebody say I'm gonna have a day Yeah. If I'm going to every state and I'm promoting myself, I can gain the masses that way. I was thinking about that. Because that, that's a great business plan because you can always tap into um different markets. So yeah, that's what's up. So my next question for you is this. So you're doing features right now. You're doing um because I even heard you say you be down to do the video, just do you know, fly you out and all that. So yep, what's funny for Barbie B Gammon then? Say it again. What's next for you? Next is my EP, and then I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a raffle, and like, a, like a meet and greet. It's called I'm Tammy. I'm pulling up tour, so I'm gonna go state to state and take out like my fans, take them out to eat, get them something to drink. They just gotta participate in the raffle, buy a, a raffle ticket for a dollar. They spin the wheel on the thing and let them know if they won or not. And if they oh. win, then I'm gonna come to their city. You know, it's like a one on one thing. We're gonna kick it, get some drinks. Yeah, meet the people that, that actually fuck with me and support me. 
And like, I for sure. I can do a little raffle for $5. I ain't winning nothing. Yeah, but you know, I try to support when I be saying different things. But yeah, like, I ain't there. But I, that's, a, that's a good vibe. Have you been on tour? Would it be, will this be your first one? This would be the first time like I'm doing something like this. But when, normally when I go out of town to do speeches or when I go out of town, period, if I see people that like follow me and they recognize me, like, hey, you boy be jamming. I love your music. Mm-hmm. All right, which one to drink? You kick it with us tonight if you want to, type shit. Like, that's, that's what I do. Or if they in my inbox, like, Barbie, I want to meet you. Pull up on me. So it just yeah, makes sense for me to do this. Sign you out to Columbia, get you in the 803. I don't be doing music. I be playing around with it because it just be fun. And, you know, I be yeah. trying to like tap in with my city, with my platform. Right? Let's see how we can work that out. Get you down here, and then hey, you might can do me a remix to my Queen of Paperwork song. You know what I'm saying? And get yeah, you in the city. I guess we could do that. That's what's up. So last, we are gonna call this the the end break. Okay. okay. I asked you earlier, but I don't, I don't think it was the best time. I'm asking you with this one to end it. Who's your favorite artist right now? YG Tech. Okay, and why? I can listen to his music all day. It's like he make get money music. Will you listen to his music? You wanna yeah, you wanna get some money. Like I ain't one of them people like I rap, but I'm gonna sit in the corner and just be listening to my music. Mm-hmm. I'm listening to other stuff in between, you know, my own her and her, but yeah, him and uh I say chicken feet. Like chicken pee. Okay. Well, where can they find you at? My name is Barbie Jam, and I'm streaming on everything. Any platform you can find me, that's my name. Hey, I like that. You know, every, every, you know. Every, every platform but Twitter. I don't got no Twitter. I don't got no Facebook either. No, I got on Twitter. I get on Twitter. That's where I'm the, the juice be, you know. Black, I stay on Twitter. That's where everything at. Twitter is drama. Yeah, it is. None of that. I don't want nobody to just be able to mention me in a post and they're an absolute stranger and I see it and pay attention to it. Like, I ain't even yeah. nobody breaking my peace. I'm cool. I go through that now. It be hard. I be ready to argue with everybody. I be ready to argue with everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm argumentative. I ain't finna do none of that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't at me. Don't say my opinion. Once my put, I put my reels up. If people don't like it, they keep at me. I'm taking the comments off. I think they be forgetting who run the show in this bitch. This my page. Hey, for, for, real shit, like, <laughs> for real. They crazy. They be like, yeah, you shouldn't say such shit. Oh, I'm finna stop you from saying anything, boo. I'm finna turn these comments up. Okay. That's what I do on YouTube. I do that on YouTube. I be like, this my house over here first. You better talk somewhere else. You ain't gonna talk and, and you don't run nothing, baby. <laughs> All right, look, now my camera want to act crazy. I mean, I appreciate you for pulling up. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And I'm going to work out on the and see how we can fly you out, out here to Columbia to get you in the city. Okay. Right. But yeah, we'll be in touch soon. I appreciate you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Today, oh, you should just take my advice. Shit, who the fuck is you? I'm not taking your fucking advice. Fuck is you saying? Your advice ain't got me nowhere. My advice then got me here. So clearly I'm finna keep listening to who? Me. Fuck is you talking about? I'm a Leo. I ain't never needed nobody else. Listening to other motherfuckers? What the fuck? That's your opinion, bitch. Them is your thoughts, your ideas, bitch. That came to your mind for you. That shit ain't come to mad for me. Duck your taco about that business, bitch. You better run it.